More than a third of the world's cocoa is produced here in Ivory Coast. And now there's a call for a month-long ban on exports to pile more financial pressure on incumbent president Laurent Gbagbo. There are already sanctions on Gbagbo's backers. Yesterday, an ally was forced to resign from the regional central bank. But it's not clear how the export ban can be enforced, given Bagbo's control of institutions like the ports and military. The call comes from the internationally recognized winner of November's presidential election, Alassane Ouattara. He's locked in a power struggle with Bagbo, who refuses to step down. There is also talk of military action, but a spokesman for Bagbo dismissed this as a bluff, saying there's no justification for the use of an international force in Ivory Coast. Ouattara's HQ is protected by a ring of UN peacekeepers. Nigeria's foreign minister has called on the UN to authorize its troops to use legitimate force, clarifying this does not necessarily mean conflict, but could include blockades to reinforce sanctions.